on Sundays, in just over here, there's a junior park run in Bobman. It's a nice little car park here, but there's only uh, 20 odd spaces. And last, a few Sundays ago when my, my children were running over there on Sunday morning, unfortunately my son had a bit of an accident, but never mind that. Um, on that day, I parked in what I thought was the overflow car park just over here. I'm actually walking along the camel trail so this and that park, car park I'm just about to show you is a popular point for tourists to come and sort of stage their camel trail journey which is great by the way you should do it So this is the car park I parked in that Sunday ago. And I think I parked there. Now, it was a Sunday morning, um, and I looked around and I didn't actually think I needed to pay. I mean, on first glances, do you see any notices that I should park and, and pay? Uh, cause, because I don't. The only see, sign I see is the overflow car park. Overflow car park means, in my mind, that the free car park over there, this is the overflow for it. Okay, there is a sign over there, but uh, but like, you know, it's quite small. Okay, maybe I have to get a bit closer to read it. It says private land, still doesn't really indicate that I need to pay. The, the tiniest non-functional sign in my opinion. I didn't walk over here because I didn't think I really needed to and I had to, uh, you know, take care of my son. Did I mention that he had a bit of an incident? Again, it doesn't say the terms. Okay, here maybe it's getting slightly clearer that maybe payment is required. Slightly, but it doesn't really tell you, you know, what the terms are, you know, Sunday is allowed or not. The sign is just, just woeful, really. Don't see it improving anyway. Maybe, maybe that sign over there will help. No, it just says disabled over there. It's the same tiny poor signage. I hope you agree with me that uh, this overflow car park, uh, yeah, nothing to do with that car park because that one's free, uh, has terrible signage. And I don't think I should be paying a hundred pound fine on the basis of what we have here. This is misleading. You know, the, the saddest thing is that I've, I've heard of stories where old people come here, because I believe you can only pay by, uh, by app. They come here, they know that they've uh, been captured by the camera or something, and they sit in the car and cry because they can't go and pay because they don't have an app, they're, they're too old. You know, it's just, it makes me mad. It honestly makes me mad. You know, a hundred pound I can I can just about afford, but for these people, for old age pensioners, it, it, they can't, and they're further isolated by uh, you know the digital divide. It's just the saddest thing, and these companies do this sort of business practice. It's unacceptable in my opinion. I tell you how it should work. In Singapore, you drive and park, and you leave, and you get paid just by the time you spend in that car park, right? Your car, 
uses this automatic RFID system and the whole process is seamless. You don't need an app. You don't have to be young or old to figure it out. You just drive in your car and you park and it should be that easy. I'm pretty angry about this as you can tell. So I hope you agree with me. Do comment below if you've come across this, this uh, company. Love to know what your thoughts are. Maybe I'm just a Mona from Singapore who now lives in England. <laughs> Here's my 100 pound parking fine. Reason for issue, no trace of payment. Reason for appeal, no trace of signage telling me that I need to pay.